bonus with face, pat, and tiz. Um, you know, normally this time we would throw it to face the screen or facing the screen. No, we only gonna do that with some new and hot come out that we all collectively wanna see and, and we gonna discuss it together. I'm gonna introduce a new thing this week. Um, my 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 new thing going forward. Um, just face this shit that make you think. Um, cause ain't nothing wrong with that. Get your mind working, man. So I'm gonna just bring five or ten things every different every other week or every week and just give them to you guys and the fans and see what we think um so here we go my first thing it's common sense shit that no one really thinks about have you ever thought about this mirrors don't break they only multiply nigga what what the think about it. he kind of has a point yes because they just split in the two in their individual mirrors at that time mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Gotta get it. My next. How high were you when you made this list? <laughs> Not really high at all. Just really thinking. You feel like on some other shit. I'll be at work thinking on some other shit because just looking at a different culture, it just, it just gets your mind thinking about some deep other shit that you normally don't think about. So my mind just went to that one day. Like, man, you know, you break a mirror. You don't break a mirror. You just make more mirrors. So, hey, there we go. So my second thing, going to throw you out for a loop. Throw, throw you out for a loop. This is two and one now. This is a two and one. Trash bags now. Trash bags. Trash bags are the only item you buy with the sole purpose of just throwing it away. Think about it. Unless you try to think of something else. <laughs> and that's how you travel, because I, I do know some poor people that then um that they lug it. But they don't buy the bag to do that. You feel me? They already use bags they got to do that. You buy trash bags to initially throw them away. <laughs> what the? And it, another it, thing about it, trash it, it bags. About like toilet paper and tissue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toilet paper, definitely. No, you don't buy you don't buy toilet paper to dispose of. You buy toilet paper for the use of wiping your ass. Yeah, you you, you throw it away, you throw it away because you don't want a, shit, okay. a bunch of I, shit paper. You feel me? That's the you, you, you. No, yeah. it, that, but if you use that logic, then you can't say trash bags is to throw away. They're technically to hold the trash. No, not necessarily because you can get other bags. Like you can go shopping and get those plastic bags and hold your trash. You don't have to buy trash bags. You buy trash bags to throw them away. Rub it together real good or some newspaper if you want to. <laughs> that, shit ain't, that shit ain't gonna work. When you purchase toilet paper, you're purchasing knowing that you're about to flush that shit. Just like when you purchase a trash bag, you know it's gonna end up in the trash. Well, well, well. I'll, I'll, I'll be devil's advocate with that. What if you don't have plumbing and you still use toilet paper and use our house outside shit house? You ain't using it for the sole purpose of throwing away. You using it for the sole purpose of wipe, wiping your ass. Yeah, you gonna throw it in that hole. Like our house has had a little hole. You still getting rid of it? You disposing of it? You like you're not gonna walk around with that tissue and reuse it? You ain't about to tuck that shit in your back pocket. Some cultures might. Some cultures don't even wipe their ass with tissue. So hey, <laughs> but that doesn't dis dispute the use of toilet tissue. <laughs> It depends on your part of the globe. Now, my second thing on trash bags. All trash bags, when you buy them, they come inside out. Before you use your trash bag, flip that bitch the right way, then put it in the trash can. Stop putting your trash bags in the wrong way. The you rivets know, go on the inside. Ever since you first told, told us that, I've been doing that. I've been noticing, I'm like, you know what? That nigga face is right. Exactly. Changed my life. Exactly. <laughs> now, my third thing to make you think, just on some hood shit. I see we ain't heard much from 6ix9ine since the universe came back for Alpo, huh? 
Nigga been real quiet, right? Oh, and that is about six nine this past week. He got some scam he connected to with with some fake uh Ponzi scheme with a digital coin or some shit or NFT or something. He controlled shit or something. It's called Pole. He's connected different. To he, he just ain't got no music out, but he's still on. He's still around. That's it's different than him trying to t- fight niggas and roll up on niggas like he was a couple months ago. He a lot less quiet. He's a lot more quiet and a lot less mm-hmm. like he used to. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. like, I mean, he last time he was like with DJ Academics and WAC 100. That's because WAC 100 just probably told him to come on the damn show in the first place. But other than that, I don't see him. Well, no. My and next day. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> damn right. Yeah, so my next thing, just bringing it back to the scholastic level real quick. Okay, I touched on this last week. I don't know if we was off camera or on camera, but I touched on it just with us. Why do we teach our school, te- teach our children in school socialist ways, but expect them to understand our capitalist ways when they get out of school? And that's the shit that fucked up my life. That right there. People not gonna understand that. You feel me? Like in school, we teach all we teach kids to share. Everybody deserves this. There's no there's no winners, there's no losers. We 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 train them that way, but when they become adults, it's an instant snap into the reality. And there is different classes of people, and there are winners and losers, and everyone doesn't get the same amount of stuff. There are rich people, poor people, and they're supposed to automatically understand that when they get adults, teach them the right shit in school. Or change the way you want society to be. Can't be both. You go. You haven't confused as kids, and it's ended up to some. A lot of these adults not transitioning the right way, and not understanding the concept, and being these fuck boys and fuck girls out here. I see. I, I was okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'll jump in. Oh, I I was just gonna say, you tis. That's exactly. Remember we were talking earlier off camera, and I said the sky is falling. That shit that he just said right there. That what made the sky fall for me. That shit. See, I, when, I guess for me, I, I just disagree. I don't think that schools teach uh, socialism because your schools teach that you can hustle and cheat your way to get good grades, and good grades are basically like the currency, and it affords you extra privileges and allows you to get treated differently by the staff at the school and you get different opportunities than the people who are not. So I, I think it, it, it's teaching you both. I think is the, the main issue is that school period, it ain't even teaching you a system so much as it's just, it's not teaching you how to live in today's society. I, I don't know that it teaches socialism so much though. I think it depends on the school there. I think it's kind of like a, Schools are like countries, and each one kind of operates depending on. No, not that it teaches socialism; it teaches kids socialist ways. You feel me? It's a, it's a difference. Capitalism, it's a difference. Though, so that's what I'm saying. Like it teaches a bunch of different ways. So I, I guess, I just don't don't see it as just that. But my thing is, if we had a capitalist society, why, why, why teach any socialist views? Why, why, why teach any of that shit? Even if we're totally capitalist, and that's what we believe in. That's the society we are. That's how our society runs. Don't teach them that type of shit. And still learn them from you because maybe, they, maybe should it be different. You could be like, oh no, capitalist, capitalist. Economic system, not a way of life. It's not a government system. It's a economic. It's a way of uh, transferring currency and. Bought, buying and selling goods. It's not an actual system of societal living. So like societal living would be more socialist ways as far as like how you interact with your fellow human being. Capitalism and, and like those are economic constructs. But if someone lives their life like that and they only only interact with people to to make money, they they live as a capitalist. So, I mean, if you have you not having just social settings and social engage en- engagements, or all your business, all your engagements are strictly business driven. You you you're living by that capitalist. You feel me? Like that's what I'm looking at. I, I, don't, I think I'm you're looking at. I think you're looking at it on a more day to day or more common man day-to-day thing on, on, on everybody on everybody's scale. I'm talking like on a more generalized scale. 
Yeah, I'm talking about on a general scale, you're learning capitalist uh, thinking, you're learning socialist thinking, you're even learning some communist ways of thinking, but that's part of living in society. That, as far as capital, as far as when we break down those three tenets and we actually talk about them as what they are, which is economic constructs, I don't see school as teaching really any of those things. The closest I would say would be maybe, um, maybe capitalism, just because the way the system of moving up and how you elevate or de-elevate in society is based off grades and you can look at grades like currency. But as far as everything else, like there's no real socialist tendencies. Otherwise, every kid would get an A and every kid, like regardless of performance on in class, would have access to the exact same opportunities. And that's not the case. So I can't roll with that. That's all. So in kindergarten and preschool, kids don't have the exact same opportunities. Kids nah. aren't treated the exact nah. same. In the God, you still get kids with unsatisfactory, and that can cause them to be held back or cause them to have to go through special remediation going into the next grade that other kids got. To. I'm not talking about on a grading scale level. I'm not talking about where I said treated. I'm talking about how they're treated on the exact same way. I don't know, because if you're the good kid in class who's making great, good grades, teachers are going to treat you better. That's the nature of humans. If you are seen as more of a value to the class and you're less of a struggle for that person people are going to gravitate to those areas of ease so yeah the kids like usually the kids that are the brightest or the best behaved are usually going to get treated differently by the teachers than the kids who are less satisfactory in those areas and i think that that's all the way up from preschool on up well i see it differently because i mean me personally that's not my personal experience so see that's the thing you're you're saying a personal experience as opposed to, you say a general. If we're talking about in general. Yes, as far as what I've experienced and as far as what I've seen. So from my eyes, seeing on, from what I personally see from the experiences I've been told from the experiences, experiences I've experienced, my I, that's why I formulated my opinion from it. So one can only formulate their opinion from their experiences or their research. So that's how I will formulate mine, just like you formulated yours through your experience in going off the data. Like they've done studies on like exactly experience and research. So I'm saying like this is not me and my personal observation. This is a I went to a primary source and an adjustment source for myself. I think we have I, a I think piece. Have to, like I, I think when we use words like we gotta make sure like we're I, I understand the concept you're saying. I think that the terms you're using is what I'm getting stuck on. So black people. Black people are so far ahead in the game, we've been convinced that we're playing catch up. We gotta realize that we're not playing catch up, we're lapping them. We've done so much in our history that we've been, how can I say? We've been trying to convince or try to be brainwashed that we're lower than we are. When if we truly key into our history, we see that the things that others are doing now, we've been doing years and years ago. The knowledge of that just is not widespread. But as we see with the advance of technology and the more research people do, and the, how can I say the, I, mean, I don't want to use woke, but I guess you could say the more woke people are becoming, they're realizing how great, you feel like our culture is just on the level of being colored people or being from African descent. Me personally, I think that's one of the main reasons why we are treated like we are to a certain extent. But that's just my opinion. I think that's definitely how we ended up here. I, I definitely say that was a tool that the colonizers used to enslave us in the first place. Um, I think now it's more about 
the resource distribution that's the problem. Like, I think a lot of people, we know that we, that our history is great. It's just that now we've been in bondage so long, we've lost access to the resources that used to go with that intellect. Like, we used to be the shit because we were creating everything and we were getting paid off of it. So we were building the wealth. Like, that's why all of the Africans were the center of, like, literacy, finance, all of that. People were coming there to get that. I think what happened I think now know that we have that history, but because we got separated from the ability to monetize that for so long, we're behind the eight ball because we don't have the resource. Like we're on a race now to try to catch up with the resources and build those resources back up so that we can level the playing field. But I definitely agree that, that a lot of the way we got here comes from them raping us of that knowledge of who we are. I think black people are automatically have like an innate ability to create blue pretty much. And, and, and because of that, we build a lot of culture, just mm -hmm. automatically. A lot of things in the culture, in the modern culture right now uh, that celebrated basically straight from black culture that has become how say you so much that it's a norm. So now it now that it's being used so much and we're actually getting embraced and, and, and it almost feels like it's a trend to just like go anything black right now. Oh yeah. <clears throat> we're cool. Yeah. But it's just like you said, Tiz, it's it's just that we I, I feel like we just got to the point of knowledge that the one thing that we lack at is the way to di distribute and within our own yep. people in our own community or whatever. I think we just got to that point. Now we're at a point of like, how do we go ahead and build this infrastructure that we know we need to have. We just don't know how to make it. Or, I mean, there might be people already in play that already know how to make it or whatever or whatever, but like I said, it might be a resource thing or something like that. But we, I, I feel like on a positive note, we like, um, we got into a point of knowledge that we can, we can make a, a oh man, I don't want to be cliche and make a change, but make a, a pivotal um, <laughs> How you say evolutionary drift? I don't know evolutionary jump, pretty much. But ah, uh, that's just what I felt about what you were saying. I I feel like we just got to get to a point of together. <clears throat> I think we got beat down so long and lost the ability to get resources from our creations for so long that now that we are starting to realize how great we are. It's a fight between ourselves almost a lot of times of like, okay, I'm creative too. So I'm gonna try to keep all my stuff instead of I'm creative and I've just created this new thing and I'm starting to get revenue from it. And you've done the same thing in another round. Why don't we merge this and put it together and see how we can leverage it to make something bigger from it. And I think that's where we got to get to is like, we're getting there. With the knowledge is just let's pool the resources so that we can build the resources quicker to level the playing field. That what you just said um, about we almost like we go against each other. That it just uh, clicks something in my head where it's you notice that <clears throat> pretty much in American history there's always like a token black. <clears throat> Excuse. Me. Um, but in American history is always like a token black. You can only have but like one black or this many blacks at one time in media or something like that or whatever. I think that whole visual right there or whatever, we're so used to thinking that it's only supposed to be one top black person or whatever that we end up fighting against each other. We, all, we pretty much made a culture of it because what is battle rapping? You know, like that's pretty much the essence of it almost but um 
I think I think that, but now I feel like we're we're breaking out of that mentality it, itself. Um, now that we have more examples and more representation out there, um, so I, I think we're in an age of realization right now. So I hope so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope that we again realize the power that we can have if we just. <laughs> allowed us to dominate trade situations and allowed us to have leverage in negotiations. So we just got to get that back. 